All right, here we are, tractor supply, getting ready to pick some up to review. All right, this is what we're here for. We're here for this bigger one right here. This is a groundwork dump cart 17 cubic heap trailer. Uh, the reason why I'm getting it is because of its size. It's much bigger than the rest of them. And uh, it's actually uh, coated instead of just painted. So we're gonna go in here and uh, pick this up. All right, got it all strapped down and ready to go. Nice on there, nice and solid. Some ratchet straps. Here's my daughter, getting ready to leave. All right guys, this is more of the in-depth part of the review. I'm doing a uh, review on the groundwork pull behind dump cart from Tractor Supply. It's rated at 1,200 pounds and it's 17 cubic feet. All right, some of its main features, it's got a pin style receiver hitch. That hitches right to the back of most standard lawn tractors or zero turn mowers. Right here, it's got a one hand operation dump feature. You just pull on the lever, it releases, and then it dumps. And same thing, so it comes down. Obviously, you guys can slam it down and it'll lock up and stuff. But I'd rather just make sure that uh, the lever lasts a lot longer. On the back, it has a nice tailgate. When you buy it, it is stiff. It will break in the more times you pull it up and down. It has two tracks on the side, and then it's got two holes in the bed where pins from the tailgate drop into. So all you're gonna be doing is going like this. See that? It's got two pins, one here and one here. It does drop down to two holes corresponding in there and there. And you're going to want to obviously put the two slides down in the tracks, push down, and then make sure the pins line up. Bottom. All right, there you go. All right, this is my lawn tractor I'm hooking the trailer up to. It's just a standard lawn tractor, no zero turn or anything. Just a cup cadet. I'm going to show you guys the, the trouble that I ran into with this particular one, and probably a lot of you guys might have the same trouble. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Right. As you can see on the trailer, it does have a long tongue, but Bethany, watch out. Go over there. Go over there. All right, look, when I try to hook it up to the actual uh, tongue on the uh, tractor, no good with the bagger on it. So I can't keep the bagger and the trailer at the same time. So I'm going to show you exactly what you have to do to take the bagger off to hook the trailer up. Okay, first thing we got to do is put the seat forward. We've got to open the bagger up, like so. Remove just the top part of the side chutes. And we got to obviously take the two bags out. All right, you guys might think this might still be good. I'm gonna show you it's not. Here we go. See that? You still run into the metal uh, retaining pin from up here. Then all you have to do is just remove the top part. There's a bolt here. And on the back, there's a twist pin right there all right again guys my daughter's in here she uh, likes to be on these videos on YouTube obviously so we're going to remove that real quick twist that off yeah, it's a pretty strong one since it's holding up the whole metal frame on this Watch out. All right, that whole part comes off. Well, there you go, okay. All it has now is just the bottom frame. I'm just making sure I got this before I lose it. All right. The actual Cub Cadets bagger frame has actually its own pin. I don't know if you can see it. See the original pin is right there, and then it comes with one a little further back, but that's not gonna really help you. All right, so there's that. All right, guys, it's pretty simple. What we're gonna do, pull the trailer towards the hitch, and on the bottom of this is gonna be a pin. You're gonna pull the tension pin out 
then pull the pin out the top. You're going to line it up, obviously, with the hole to hole. I don't know if you can see that, guys. This might be in the way. Down here. And we're going to line this pin back up underneath here. Takes a couple extra seconds because obviously you really can't see it, so you just kind of have to do it by feel. Yeah. All right, guys, there you have it. I'm going to show this car in action right now. Here's the trailer, guys. Hooked it up to the my Cub Cadet lawn tractor. This is the main reason why I bought it. Uh, I have a good amount of property with a lot of trees, and every year when I you know go to put down grass seed or fertilize whatever I want to do this there's a ton of uh, just branches that fall from all the trees and I got to go around and pick them up uh, I also do a lot you know hauling with this as far as like bags of fertilizer mulch topsoil all that good stuff this is really what real reason why I got it guys I just tired of carrying it by hand you know I got an acre a little bit more and uh, here it is I'm going to it's full with uh, just branches and stuff and uh, I'm going to show you how the uh, the dump box feature works here in a second. Alright, here we are at the very back of my property. I pretty much have all my burn piles and uh, things like that. I'm going to just show you guys real quick how we're going to do this. Alright, on this trailer, you do have a dump box feature and a tailgate. Uh, this tailgate, um, it is very stiff since it's brand new. Just bear with me on it. Slide that out. See how it is. Decently heavy. Oh, there's a daughter. All right, guys, we're gonna come over here. Bethany, watch out. Stay there. All right, you're just gonna literally pull it towards the hitch. You're gonna lift up. Bethany, watch out. You can see how it detaches like that. All right. So we got that like that, and I'm going to try and just drive away and see if it'll all slide out. All right, well, I just pulled forward and it did all just slide right out, so it made a nice little pile. And we're gonna come back over here. It is spring loaded, so this should just lock right back in. Yep, did that. No damage. Looks. That concludes my review of the groundwork 17 cubic foot behind dump trailer uh, I've only had it for a few days I only had a couple projects on it but so far so good give it two thumbs up and obviously my daughter likes it too